Uh, my name is Kalen, and I'll be sharing my experiences for going from Node.js to Go. So a little bit about myself. I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, up north in Canada. I'm a software engineer at Sourcecraft right now, working on the Dev Experience team, uh, mostly working on CI/CD and Cloud DevOps. And fun fact about myself, I have only learned Go about three months ago, so pretty good. So really, my previous experiences have always been in Node.js or Python, and they were really my safe havens for anything backend related. I didn't have to worry about structures, data types, or interfaces, and life was really simple. And the best part about it is I could literally Google any problem I had and find an answer on Stack Overflow, and that was really nice. So when I switched over to Go, it kind of felt like I was going backwards because it, the whole entire process was a little bit confusing, and there was not a, lot of, not a lot of syntactic sugar or libraries to help me do the things that I wanted to do, which was really hard. Like, I remember one example is when I wanted to write my first REST API. I was really confused and had a really hard time understanding what the response writer was or uh, what unmarshalling the JSON object from bytes was. Because I wasn't used to that. In Node.js, all I had to do was just print the thing and then I'm good to go. And I was really confused on why we had to write this if statement all the time to just handle errors. No other language does this. We, there's always like a try-catch system. But soon after, as I wrote more and more Go, I kind of realized that this is normal and this is the way that it is. And I just have to embrace the chaos because there's always meaning in the madness. And if I had to describe it, Go is kind of like that really confusing or strict teacher we had back in the day where you had to do things their way and only their way and you never really understood why, but there was a good reason for it. And as I use more and more Go, I kind of realized that I really like it and that it's actually a really good language. And there's a lot to like about Go, from the tooling to the standard library to how fast it compiles. It's actually a really good language and a good medium for uh, speed and efficiency and understandability. And the best part is it kind of it made me a better developer because I no longer did I have to use those uh, sketchy looking NPM packages to do the things that I want. Instead, Go has made me more methodical in the way that I develop code because I actually have to look at the problem line by line and step through it um, one at a time. And it was it was really hard to get to this place. Um, it took a lot of time of self studying and self discipline. And I want to remind everyone that learning a la new language is hard, and getting good at a language is even harder. And I feel like our industry has kind of normalized this idea that you always have to be learning a new language or there's a new technology that you should be checking out every other month on top of all the other things that uh, we're already working on. And it can get really, really overwhelming. And it also kind of feels like we are always in this endless loop of playing catch up where you learn one thing and you get good at it. And then next thing you know, something else comes along and replaces it. And I'm sure we've all had that feeling of playing catch up. And I want to say that it's okay. I'm sure we all feel that way. And it reminds me that, and it reminds me that no one really has it all figured out. We're all just trying to navigate this uh, together, and um, just remember that some people are better at navigating it through it than than others. And I think imposter syndrome is also very real, especially here at like GopherCon. It's a great example. We have so many smart individuals doing amazing talks and presentations. It leaves us wondering, like, oh, what could be, or like, how how am I as a developer? And I want to say that it's okay. We all feel this way. And um, just like one last reminder that in life, uh, learning is a lifelong journey and that the more you know, the more that you actually don't know. And this picture really illustrates it where, well where on the left, when your experience circle is small, your encounters with unknowns are smaller and you don't get to see as much. But as you grow older and your experience grows wider, you uh, get your encounters with unknowns become larger and you get more confused. And, you go down deeper uh, rabbit holes. And yeah, and life and learning is, is kind of like hiking, where you got to start early and you got to just take it one step, at, one step at a time because you don't really know where the trail is going to lead you. Just don't take it too far and be like this person, where they're trying to teach their kid leak code at seven years old. That's not the way to do it. Yeah, and one last message to sum it all up to all my senior engineers, tech leads, level seven, eight, 10, 55, I don't even know the levels anymore. Just take it easy on your juniors. We're all just trying to learn and have a good time. Thank you.